Here's what happened. Bonnie Sauter. Bonnie Sauter was the, uh, that's his last name, was the candidate for president of Iran. And, there we are. And he was, you know, when the movie Argo came out, the movie Argo basically portrays the, the Iranian people as like, you know, bloodthirsty, you know, we, you know, we want the hostages, all this kind of stuff. And so Bonnie Sauter come, comes out, and here's what he wrote for the Christian Science Monitor. He says, Ayatollah Khomeini and Ronald Reagan had organized a clandestine negotiation known as the October Surprise, which prevented the attempts by myself and then U.S. President Jimmy Carter to free the hostages before the 1980 U.S. presidential election took place. The fact that they were not released tipped the results of the election in favor of Reagan. Okay, this is, this is the president of Iran. He says, I openly opposed the hostage-taking throughout the election campaign, telling students that occupying an embassy in the heart of Tehran was a sign of cowardice rather than courage. I won the election with over 70% of the vote, in part on that platform. Other candidates were also openly against hostage-taking, and overall 96% of the votes in that election it was the election of 1980 in Iran, while the hostages were being held. 96% of votes in that election were given to candidates who were against it who were against the hostage-taking. But the Reagan campaign, specifically Bill Casey, the chairperson, the chairman of the Reagan campaign, the guy that Reagan uh, rewarded by making him head of the CIA, Bill Casey cut a deal with the Ayatollah as the president of Iran at that time, just you know, wrote last week for the Christian Science Monitor, cut a deal with the Ayatollah to hold the hostages. 